Okay, today we're making bean flitters to go over a meal. Bean flitters are something that I was raised on. What you do is when you make pinto beans or any kind of brown beans, soup beans or anything else, whatever beans you have left over, you're going to take those beans with some flour, some butter, some onions, and an egg. And we're going to make a, a pancake out of it, a, a, a fritter as some people call or as we was raised to say, a bean flitter. And they're absolutely delicious. You're gonna love it. Stay tuned with us as we go through it step by step. And I uh, hope you enjoy today's episode. Okay, we're gonna start out, what we're gonna do this, we, we're gonna mash the beans up. And we're gonna to try to soften them up real good. Get them all ready to go. Take a fork or something that you want to mash with and get them all mashed together real good. I really hope you enjoyed today's message. God is good. He's good all the time. Without the blessings of God, we would not have this food to eat. And uh, our parents, as they was raised, they had to come up with different meals like this different things to to prepare to, to eat and, uh, and, and and so there would be no waste whatsoever so so they could use absolutely everything and, uh, and just make a fine meal out of it so just stay tuned as I get all this ready and we'll be right back and we're going to add the onions in you chop those at any size that you want it's just the size that I came up with and uh, we'll stir all that in now and get it all stirred up real good And that is going to be, if you just smell it now, this is going to be absolutely delicious. And now watch this here. We're going to take the egg. I'm going to crack the egg on a firm surface. Put the egg in. Get it all stirred up real good. Look at that. All stir it in together real good. Now how much do you add? You add some. We don't measure anything. We don't know how to measure it. Don't know people come up with these measurements, so we just add some. So much flour we're gonna add? Some. Just enough to make it stick together. Of course the egg will do that also. I'm just going to stir this in real good. Let's make a little batter out of it. And see now we made kind of a batter out of this. This is looking really good. This looks really good there now. So what we want to do, we're going to take and uh, use our hands and just make patties out of it. Just make a nice little patty. Kind of just put it together. Just any size you want to use. You're going to be the one eating it, so make it as big or small as you want it. So just going to make a patty out of it. There's four of us, so I've got to have at least four of them. Looks like I won't have maybe one extra today. Okay, we got our pan going and got some butter in it, getting it ready to uh, get on. We're gonna let the butter melt a little bit, let the pan get a little bit warm. We start. I got just a little bit of the uh, piece of a bean flitter there. So when it starts frying a little bit, I know it's ready to go. It's amazing the people who have never heard of this before. 
you know, not, not that they never tried it, but they never even heard of uh, bean fritter. Even people that was raised in West Virginia, where I'm from, and McDowell County, had never even heard of such a thing. But uh, now you do. Now you got an opportunity to make this delicious meal. If you can see over on the side there a little bit, we also make fried potatoes. Uh, we made some corn. I got some some uh, greens on in the on the back eye, and we're just gonna have a really good meal right here. You see there, we bake some uh, canned treat for the meat. We put it in the oven and let it fry, and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Of course, we cut it thin as we always do to make it cook up really good, and that's gonna be the meat to go with this meal. It's an extremely inexpensive meal. It's only gonna cost probably less than ten bucks to feed the whole family. Okay, we got that eyes. It's looking good, so let's. And put some of these on. This is our uh, bean patties, bean burgers, some people call them. We call them bean fr uh, fritters, bean fritters. If there's on, we're just going to brown them up on both sides and make sure to get done. It's going to be really, really good. I'm cooking it on up about a medium temperature and uh. It's going to be really good. We got the burgers cooking though, the bean burgers, flitters. I just want to show you my potatoes that we made. And we just sliced these just regular potatoes out of the, we bought a food line and, and uh, we sliced up a little bit of onion to put in it, salt and pepper. And this is going to be probably the highlight of the meal right here is going to be the potatoes. But everybody knows how to make potatoes so we didn't do a video on that part. But uh, that, that all this makes a really good meal and it's extremely inexpensive. Now we're going to try flipping these. See what the other side looks like. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Get them over, we'll cook the other side just a little while. I'm going to be kind of delicate with it. If you, if you do too much, it might uh, might break into pieces. Just going to get it to flip over and let it get good and warm on the inside and let the flour get done a little bit in it. And, should be really good to go okay everyone I think these are about ready so we're getting ready to do the taste test got just a little bit of, of a crusty a little bit crusty there so them is going to be really really good so it's time for my beautiful wife to do the taste test this is cooking with the word okay now for the most important part the taste test but first we want to talk about our robes Miss Savannah Robinson from down in McDowell County made these for us, the aprons, and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. They're just add some. They got the cross on them. She made them very inexpensive for us, and I think they look great. If you want anything like this made, any kind of clothing or sign stickers or anything, just just give her a call and she'll make it for you. And now Jessica wants, also wanted me to add, just because all these shows or most of them show me cooking, that's one day a week. The other six days she cooks, and all seven days she cleans. And she is a much better cook than I am, but I'm, I like being on camera a little bit more than hers. But now, she's gonna give it a taste. Now what Jessica's done, she's added a little bit of barbecue sauce with it. You now can you, add whatever you like sauce-wise, but you should really try it without it first because it is delicious, just made the simple way. So. This is going to be my taste test. Mm. And they are so good. I put a little bit of sugar-free, sweet, baby-raised barbecue sauce. They are delicious. I hope you enjoy them if you make it. And I hope you enjoy our broadcasts here uh, on, uh, on the TV station and also on YouTube. And I would like for you to follow us, like us, comment on what you maybe would want us to make next, and follow us here on YouTube, add and share, and may God bless you all. Make sure you're in church somewhere, follow the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and you're watching Cooking with the Word.